Hey everybody, it's AJ here, and in today's video, we're gonna have a look at Microsoft Steps Recorder. So what is Steps Recorder? It's a feature built into Windows. It came around in Windows 7, and it essentially allows you to quickly capture every single step with a screenshot, and it's great for documenting steps and building procedures for your computer. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can access Steps Recorder and use it. Um, of course, we're just gonna go into our start menu, start typing in the word Steps Recorder, and it's the first option that appears, and we're simply gonna go Steps Recorder. It's basically a little dialog box on your screen where you can start a recording, stop a recording, or even add a comment. So I'm gonna show you exactly how it works, and we're gonna make a quick workflow of how to turn a website like Canva into an app. So we're gonna go start recording, go over to our web browser, type in canva.com, go over to Canva, select on our three ellipses, scroll down to where it says apps, go install this site as an app, and then of course we can just go install or we can put in a different name. I'm actually gonna go add a comment and I'm gonna select this section here and then the comment is going to be rename to Canva. So for every single step, it's gonna record the clicks you've done, but you can also go add a comment to, if you wanna add more information for the person that's gonna look at the steps you've made. We're gonna go okay, we're gonna go install, and then we're gonna go stop recording. You can see here that it's actually gonna take you through the steps recorder and show you all the steps you've made. So it's got a nice view, a compact view where you can scroll down and you can see all the steps that we've taken. If you select on any photo, it actually, your screenshot makes it bigger. And what you'll notice is that it actually has a green bar highlighting where the mouse was. So we're gonna scroll down again and you can see that we actually had a click on the ellipses here. So it's highlighted that entire pane there. If we scroll up to the top, we can actually um, record the steps as a slideshow or view them as a slideshow. And you can see here, it has these steps in the top corner. And this lets people just flick through um, slide by slide. They can pause it if they like. They can go next slide, previous slide. And you can see here that we're just gonna go next and next and next in the top right hand corner. And you can see that over here, we've actually added our comment and it says use a comment saying rename to Canva. So if you're happy with your steps recorder, you're just gonna go exit the slideshow and then you can go save. It's gonna ask you to save this. I'm gonna save this on the desktop. We're just gonna call it uh, steps recorder example. It's gonna save it as a small zip folder on your desktop. So I'm gonna right click and go properties. You can see it's only 1.42 megs, even though it's got a lot of screen recordings and screenshots in there. And if we open this up, it's just got, oh, it's just got a little document here. And if we double click on that, it's just going to open that up into our web browser. And you can see here that you can send this to somebody and they can see all the steps and all the workflows that you're creating with Steps Recorder. And it is that easy to use Microsoft Steps Recorder to create procedures and workflows. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.